Hey guys, it's BHWaza here, and today I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to make, I uh, mean, how to, the best export settings for ScreenFlow and Final Cut Pro on a Mac. Okay, so I got Final Cut Pro open and I got ScreenFlow open right now, but right now I'm gonna show you how to do ScreenFlow first. Okay, so what you wanna do is file export in ScreenFlow, and it'll come up with this little bar here. Um, and name it whatever you want. I'll just name it test. Um, it comes with web high, but what you want to do is you, it'll come like this. This is what it'll look like. So to say 640 by 400 there, you want to click to scale to customize, and you want to put it in the um, oh, wrong button. Sorry, 720. Oh, that's 30. 20. All right. So 1280 by 720 is 720p. I'm not quite sure about um, what 1280p, 1080p is, sorry. But that's 720p there. So, and do not click letterbox content. It just makes it look shit. Uh, you don't need to worry about motion blur. It doesn't really do much. So once you've done that, you want to go up to customize, settings, and change the frame rate to about uh, 59 or 29. Once you upload it to YouTube, it will compress it to 30 um, frame rates per second anyway, so 29 is probably your best bet. And then you want to move the quality to best, because you want the best quality possible, and faster in code. And hit OK. Don't worry about your sound, and hit OK. And then click Expert, Export. Sorry. Um, I've already done that, so I'm going to show you that real quick. It's here. Uh, here it is. See, it's just I just went in here, opened up this picture. That's my name. Just like that. So as you can see, that is pretty good quality. Yeah. Now, now for Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I've got my Five Not Live loaded up in the timeline, which I did make a mistake in right there. It's actually 17 seconds. Um. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go share. Export movie, and it'll come up like this. A little bit different to um screen flow there, but anyways, what you want to do is go current settings, select H.264, um, include video and audio if you have audio in it, and hit next, and then it'll come up where you want to save it. I've just named it deletable shit because it's pretty much the shit I make, and then I delete it straight away. So just go ahead and click save and it will start to export it. I don't need to export that. Uh, delete. Okay, yeah, so that's what you're going to do. They're your best um, export scenes for Final Cut Pro and ScreenFlow. Uh, if this video helped you out, um, please hit the um, subscribe button and the like button if you want to see more tutorials like this. But yeah, thanks for watching.